Welcome to the spoken tutorial on creating curves and polygons in LibreOffice Draw. In this tutorial, we will learn to draw and edit polygons and curves, insert text in the polygons. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. To practice this tutorial, you should have basic knowledge of LibreOffice Draw. If not, please go through the basic level draw tutorials on this website. We will learn to draw a map as shown in this slide using various polygons. This map shows the route from home to school. At the end of the next tutorial, you will be able to draw a similar map by yourself. I have opened a new draw file. Let us name this file as root map and save it on the desktop. Before we begin, let us enable the grid view. To do so, click on the display grid icon in the standard toolbar. Also click on help lines while moving icon. Now we will set the page margins and page orientation. Click on properties on the sidebar. By default, A4 format and portrait orientation are selected. We will leave them as such. Close the sidebar tick. Let us set the default font size for the entire drawing to 24. From the main menu, select format and click on character. The character dialog box appears. Notice that font effects tab is selected by default. Click on the fonts tab if not already selected. Go to the font size, select 24 point and click on the OK button at the bottom. This will ensure that all the text typed inside the shapes is clearly visible. Let's begin to draw. The first shape in the map is home. It is a tilted square. Let us insert a square to represent home. On the drawing toolbar, click on the insert basic shapes icon. Select the square option. Press the left mouse button, drag to draw a square on the top left of the page. To tilt it as per the map, click on the shape again. The handles are now green in color and round shaped. Move the cursor over the bottom left corner handle. You will see a curved arrow. Rotate the arrow slightly in anti-clockwise direction. The square gets tilted. Double click on the square and type home inside it. Click anywhere on the drop page to deselect the shape. Notice that the pages panel on the left shows whatever we draw. Next let us draw a park to the right side of the home. As per our map, the park is an odd shaped polygon. The width on the left side is greater than that on the right side. Let us use the polygon to represent it. On the drawing toolbar, click on the drop down next to the curve icon. You would have noticed that two types of curves and polygons can be drawn. One is using the fill option and the other is without a fill. When you use the fill option, the curve is filled with color. We can see different options in the curve drop-down. Each option has a different method of mouse operation to draw the curve. Let us select Polygon Filled option. Let us zoom in using the zoom slider at the bottom right of the interface. Scroll up to the area where you want to draw the polygon. Place the cursor on the page next to Home. Hold the left mouse button, drag the cursor down and release the mouse button. A straight line is drawn. Move the mouse to the right until the shape is that of a right triangle. Then press the left mouse button and move the mouse upward. Now double click the left mouse button to complete the polygon. Let's type park inside it. In our map, below the park, there is a commercial complex. This too is an odd shaped polygon. 
Let us draw this using a rectangle and then modify it. From the drawing toolbar, select rectangle. Place the cursor on the page and drag to draw the rectangle. Click on the transformations icon on the standard toolbar and select distort. Click on the yes button in the confirmation box. Now move the cursor over the bottom left corner handle. Notice that the cursor has become a pointing finger. Press the left mouse button on the left handle. Drag it outward to adjust the shape. Likewise, drag the bottom right handle till the desired shape is achieved. Once done, double click inside the shape and type commercial complex. Next, let us draw a parking lot. From the drawing toolbar, once again select rectangle. Then place the cursor on the page and draw the rectangle. Type the text parking lot inside it. Click on the transformations icon on the standard toolbar and select the start. Click on the yes button in the confirmation box. Move the cursor over the bottom right corner handle till it becomes a pointing finger. Press the left mouse button on the bottom right handle. Drag and adjust the shape as shown here. Notice that the text typed also gets distorted to some extent when we do so. Let us refer to our map once again. A residential complex is right below home and is in rectangular shape. From the drawing toolbar, select rectangle. Place the cursor on the page, click and drag to draw a rectangle. We will name it as Residential Complex. To see the whole page, click on the Fit Slide to Current Window icon at the bottom right. Let us refer to our map once again. The playground is in the shape of a really wide rectangle. Select the Residential Complex shape and press Ctrl plus C keys to copy it. Now press Ctrl plus V keys to paste it. Select the shape again and move it below the residential complex. Move the cursor to the right side handle and drag to elongate it. Let us adjust its shape. Let us zoom in for a better view. Double click inside the shape. Press Ctrl and A keys and type playground inside it. We have drawn yet another polygon in a different way. Now let's draw the lake at the top right of the school. Go to the drawing toolbar. Click on the drop down besides curve icon. Then select freeform line filled option. On the draw page, press the left mouse button. Rotate the mouse in an anti-clockwise direction on the page. Then release the left mouse button. We have drawn a lake. Let's type lake inside this shape. Look at the reference map once again. The last shape in this map is the school. The school is in the form of an odd shaped polygon. First let us zoom in for a better view. Click on the zoom and pan icon at the top and then click here on the page. Now go to the drawing toolbar. Click on the drop down besides curve icon and select curve field. Bring the cursor on the drop page. Press the left mouse button. Drag the cursor up to the lake in a straight path. Now release the mouse button and move the cursor downward like this. Click once at this point. Now move the cursor to the left like this and double click to complete the shape. Let's type the text school campus inside it. Let us zoom out to see the whole page. We have drawn all the shapes as shown in the root map. We will show how to edit the curves and add directions in the next tutorial. Let us save all the changes made and close the file. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to 
draw and edit polygons and curves. Insert text in the polygons. Here is an assignment for you. Open mypractice.odg file and add a new page. Draw curves and polygons using all the options in the curve drop-down. Notice how the shape of the cursor changes during the mouse operations. Explore how to change the fill color in the option filled. Here is another assignment for you. Add another new page. Draw 5-sided, 6-sided and 10-sided polygons on this page. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by Desikru Solutions Private Limited in 2011. This tutorial is contributed by Nikita Misal and Madhuri Ganpati from IIT Bombay. Thank you for watching.